Hello guys, good evening. Let's uh, discuss the remaining questions. So what we have done, we have this members.txt file and uh, we have the first question like, write a command to display details of members who joined the health club in March 7, okay? So here, uh, this particular data is containing the start date at uh, March 7, March 7, right? So I want to display which data is containing March 7, right? So grape MAR07 will put member statistic is going to show these are the two uh, members who have joined at March 7. But suppose this particular data is present in this place then that will also come right so we have the right question like uh the right answer will be like this the the data which so the rows which contains march 7 in the fourth column right one two three four fourth column so if this type of thing will uh, be there then we have to uh use some that awk command in other way uh, like uh, suppose uh, you can search also like this okay so awk search a pattern in particular in, okay. so ma match a pattern you can tell so yes this is the uh, right way uh, we can do that like this so awk uh, fs right begin right b e g i n begin fs equal to colon then what it will do will search right dollar four because fourth column is containing this right dollar four e g is a symbol okay within slash you will put m a r i can zero seven then print okay e i then file name is a member statistic just check Let me do that. A lot zero this went fine. Okay. Okay. So what I need to do, Jim? Dollar zero. Okay, got it. This is where I have to go. Yeah. So this is checking the condition. Okay. If dollar four can uh, this is the answer, guys. I was expecting that fourth column is having March 07 data. Okay, this way you can search. This is one answer, the right answer. But the previously whatever great command was there, that is not a right answer because if that March 7 will appear in the 50th section, 50 column also, that is going to be displayed. But uh, the question, if you will check, just see the question like, Retailing, write a command display details of the members who joined the health club. Join means start date, okay, not end date. So start date should contain March 7. This way I have done, right? Start date is coming in the fourth uh, column. So March 7 it is uh, in the fourth column. So print, okay? Now it is displaying, right answer. Next question is sort members data on the basis of end date. 
so we have end date is like this right so cat members data is like this so according to end date it, it will sort the data so sort 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 minus t double quote colon as a delimiter minus k five okay it will do n then n5 nk5 sir it is displaying the uh, data according to the sorting order of the fifth field which is nothing but your end date okay so it is displaying end date display the details of member who has paid highest amount so who has paid the highest amount okay display the so according to that display the uh, details of members who are paid the highest amount how to do that so first sort according to the sixth column okay this is your data right so what i did I have sorted the sixth pill which contains the salary, right? Has paid, right? And if I'm sorting that in the numeric sort, I am sorting in the basis of sixth column. K6 means sixth column. And K6 means numeric, if it, is, if it is numeric data, then the numeric sort will be happen. Now, highest salary, right? So highest amount, so I can put it tell tell here tell minus one so i can tell that rohan is getting highest salary okay this way you can do that then extract the root words from following words okay so extract the root words from the following words impossible herbivorous omnivorous incomplete i think we have already discussed in the English class, right? So English class that uh, our uh, Gopal sir is taking care of the English class, right? In that English class, he has told us like uh, how to extract one root word out of a word. So if you will remove this I am from the beginning, then we can get this uh, this word. And herbivorous, H E R. So this OUS, we will remove that. Like then the next OUS, you can remove. Then here incomplete, in you can remove. So if you are, we are getting any uh, data like this, suppose uh, let's put this data inside a file. Okay. So let's say cat vi my data dot txt. Is my data so i want to display this possible then herbivorous and omnivorous okay so omnivore herbivore possible complete this word we are actually wanting so how to do that okay so if you want to remove this data let's first my data i want to remove that impossible right so G, uh, how to remove? Uh, SCD S slash beginning I am right. So beginning I am then slash plus G. Okay, I'm getting that possible word like this. OUS always occurs at last, right? So we can do like this again another within single quote S slash slash plus at end OUS OUS. So here we will have to put a minus if because multiple actions we are going to perform. That's a minus will be there. Let's see. OUS is gone from two words omnivore, possible, herbivorous, then incomplete. Okay. So I want to remove that incomplete also. Again, minus E. 
as income ready start starting at i n then you see so i am now able to display all the root words out of my that data right my data was containing this data now i am able to display the root words right so you but you must have the knowledge about that uh, how this uh, word is there impossible which is the root word okay here is the technique like you should have at least english knowledge like like uh, possible is a root word herbivore is a root word right complete is a root word so how to get the root word from this hmm. so i will remove this i n i will remove this o u s i will remove this i m then only i can get the root words so this way i have removed and i am now getting this out display the records of members who are getting salary more than 8000 rupees okay it's again very easy so the data is like member so salary more than 8000 okay these are the yeah these are the data okay these are the data which having the last uh, column contains uh, the salary right here i have the question like display the records of members who are getting salary more than 8000 so i got that uh, salary column is at sixth column 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 okay so i just uh, i will create that query like with that query will display the salary or the members having salary column contains value more than 8000 so let's do that so first my data is like uh, this data and on that top of that i i know that column is a delimiter that's a wk then we will begin b e g i n f s means field separator equal to colon right then now i am segregating the data right colon as a separator i have mentioned it like that then here i will put like sixth column value is greater than 8000 is very easy again so if sixth column means dollar 6 right dollar 6 dollar 6 is greater than or equal to 8000 simply then i can do a print p r i n t dollar 0 dollar 0 will display all the whole row display so this is the data set which having the last column contains value more than 8000 right display the records of members who are getting salary more than 8000 rupees so if it is more than then put it only get the not they are not asking that 8000 or more than 8000 they are just asking more than 8000 so this is the answer so these are the two employee who are getting salary more than 8000 another three question are there okay then discard the record who are having pack id 20 p002 or p004 discard the record so here i want to discard the record so discard for discarding record we have two options one is a grep and another is a uh, cd so here it is telling that pack id p002 and p004 to be discarded so this to be discarded and this to be discarded So this is also so having uh, the records having pack id this is called pack id 20 p002 and p004 so i want to discard so grep minus v option is there g r e p minus v or it will put a e grep here then at a time you can discard p002 by p004 So these two will be discarded. This is one option, okay? This is one option. Okay, this is my query. This is one option. Then in the S C D also we can do. So for S C D it will be totally different because S C D I want to discard. So D will put a D here. Then P zero zero. It is telling uh, two and four, right? So two, then four. Keep it in a square bracket. It's a regular expression. Comes at I am putting. So 
P zero zero two or P zero zero four. It will discuss. Okay. Right. I have used two options. Okay. Either using a CD. If you are not uh, able to form this type of uh, regular expression, there is another way also in the CD. Like P zero zero two. Then put a minus e option here. And again, minus e plus e zero zero four and d. This will also discard this two. So anyway, okay. If you are not able to form this regular expression, then you can use this one. But it is a very old method. So guys, try to remember always this type of method always. Okay, because this will be very easy. So I will put a five here. It will discard five also. I'll put a one here. It will put one also like this. Okay, very very easy. Then display only M and M start date and last column value of above table who is getting paid more than seven thousand. Again the same question. I'm repeating only the columns are appearing here. Okay, just see previous thing I was giving like this. Okay, eight thousand. So now you can put a seven thousand here, more than seven thousand. But it was displaying all the column. But I have the interest like first column, and start date is the fourth column and last column. So I told you, it will print the last zero. It will all first column, the last four, then last column either the last six or the last nf. Nf means number of field. So last number of field to display. Okay. So you guys understood. Okay, so I am displaying the first column like um, M name. So M name is not coming. Okay, so M name is coming in the second column. Right? Second column, then the start date, then the salary. Okay. Then last question. I think yeah, last question. Section two already I have direct demonstrated as a project like type booking system. So only the eighth number question is there. Display the average salary of all the members. It's a very tricky question, guys. You guys have uh, like the cat uh, member statistics. I have the all the salaries are present here. Then I want to display the average of the salary. So how many number of people are there? Totally ten. And if I will able to add all the numbers. And I will divide that ten, then it will be it will give the number right. So let's do that. But okay. Uh, item look at uh, begin address equal to colon. So just put this. Then within this, I will put a logic. And uh, I want to add these numbers, and also I want to count the rows. Okay. So here, if I want to add these numbers, so you know that identity identity will be uh, used here because sum equal to zero. You have declared that, then uh, that sum will be added again and again in the loop. That loop work will be done by the AWP automatically. No need to do the uh, loop uh, uh, means, uh, manually. So this will automatically loop. So only I will define one thing like sum. Equal to zero, then another um, thing like count for each row. So you you want to count equal to zero. Then what I will do here? I will put a sum equal to sum plus dollar n f right because last column value either dollar n f or dollar six. So sum is being calculated here. Sum will be totally summation. Then I will again count the uh, number of rows, right? So count equal to count plus one. So now the count will be increased to ten. Then the sum will be addition of all. And I want to display the average salary. So here I will have to put an end block. In the end block, I will put the display like uh, print p r i n t. Then double quotes average A B E R A G average salary equal to 
in the double cut because which are inside the double cut all will be string whatever you are typing they will be printed outside this double cut you will put the actual value like sum by t a q n this is always right because suppose we have 1000 10000 5000 they are getting then five students are there or five employees are there then that five will be divided so now my sum will calculate all the sum here then the count will calculate all the rows here so total sum divided by total count equal to average so now it is going to display this average sum is 6450 guys if you if you don't have uh, understanding on this please please see this particular video again and again we are going to understand properly so now let's wind up this session okay it is already i think more than 40 minutes so let's close this session